Hello, it is nickel hunt time. Hopefully I've got a box of nickels here I can search. Let's see if we do. All right, yep, got some circulated nickels, so I do have a search here. Awesome. We're gonna check these out and see what we find on these nickels. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Roll number one, I've got an interesting find here. We've got a 2022 out of Philadelphia on the reverse. Looks like we have some doubling on United States. A little bit maybe in E Pluribus Unum. Um, you can find a bunch of different doubling on these uh, on the most recent uh, past few years of dates during the door, the windows, the roof, and on the lettering as well. Um, so that is a pretty cool find. Uh, we'll put it up here. Very cool. Roll number 18, and we've got a first old nickel here. 1953, this one is a Philadelphia. Very cool. Nice, that is our first old nickel. 18 rolls in. Roll number 20. It's been a slow hunt, but do you see what we have here? We have a Buffalo nickel. Let's see, is there a date? 1927. I can make out the date. Very cool. Awesome. This hunt has been very, very slow, but it's always nice to see a Buffalo. Oh, this one has a mint mark. 1927 out of Denver. Very cool. That is awesome. 1927 out of Denver. Nice. Roll number 22. And I've got a find here. Um, this is a 1938. A very, very nasty, corroded 1938. Let's see. Oh, we got a mark. This is a key date. This is Denver. 1938 out of Denver is a key date. Very cool. That is awesome. You know, the first 20 the first 20 rolls were pretty slow, but then this uh, box is starting to pick up. Hopefully it continues. Man, some awesome finds here. Roll number 27, and I did not see it till we got to it. And we got another buffalo. This one is quite worn on the reverse. I don't see a mint mark. There's possible one there, but I don't see it. So this looks like a Philadelphia. Does it have a date? Um, I'm not seeing a date. I think it's too worn. I might try to nick a date that to see if we can get a date off of there, but I will do that at the end of the hunt and let you know if, if I can figure that out or not. But we got a second buffalo, dateless buffaloes, but still... Two buffaloes. Very cool. Roll number 32. I've got a 2022 out of Philadelphia. This one has a nice uh, sized die chip here on the side of the building. This is a beehive die chip. Because it looks like there's a big old huge beehive on the side of the on the chill building. Very cool. Uh, that's a good size one too. Awesome, we need to toss that up here. Roll number 35, and we've hit a 1941. It's a little worse for wear, but let's take a look. And this one is a Denver. Cool. That's another old nickel. Boom. Roll number 50. Almost done with the final roll. And we got what will probably be our last find here. 19... 59. This one has a Denver mint mark, so it is from Denver. Very cool. Just a couple more left, and then we'll go with the wrap-up. Okay, that was it for the finds this hunt. Not many, but we did have some doozies. Um, <laughs> uh, we had the 2022 Philly with the die chip, the Beehive die chip. 2022 with some doubling at DDR. Um, there we had a 59 
53, uh, 41, a 1938 out of Denver, a, a key date here. Then we have the 27 out of Denver. Yep, 27 out of Denver there. Very cool to see a dated 20s Buffalo with a mid mark. Very cool. And then we have an undated uh, Buffalo nickel. Um, and if I do drop this on some liquid date, I'll stick it in right after this. But that one should go in the albums, and I've got a few over here to the side that uh, may, may uh, make the albums as well. All right, so let's check that out and see what we got. Okay, so I put some naked eight on this. I got a bigger drop than I wanted on the coin, you can see. Um, but it is a 1926. I'm not sure if you can quite see that on the camera there. 1926, this one does not have a mint mark, so it is a Philadelphia. Well, we already got the 1938 Denver in the album, so we won't be placing that one in the album because this one is better than the one we found. Book number two, we have one upgrade. It's a slight one, but just a better quality. Uh, surface quality, a lot less scratches and dings there. 1989 out of Philly. That'll be an upgrade there. And book number three at 2007 into the 20 teens. Um, I do have a lot of open spots that I've been trying to hold out for some nicer nickels, but I just have not been finding them. Uh, I got some okay ones in this hunt, so I'm going to go ahead and plug some of these holes, and I think I'm going to go and work on trying to fill these holes right now, and then I'll upgrade as nicer ones come along. 2008P is the first one. It's okay, not the greatest. Um, 2012 out of Philly and Denver. I'm going to be putting those in. 2013 out of Philly, 2014 out of Philly, and 2015 out of Philly. That's a little added bonus for my Buffalo Nichols that we found. I already had a 1926 here, um, but this Denver is a lower mintage one. Um, it's not a key date, but it does have a lower mintage, and it will be filling the spot. Okay, so we had one spot upgrade and then six spots filled. I was trying to hold out for nice nickels, but they're not coming. So I'm going to go ahead and just start filling those up with the nicest ones I can find here. And then hopefully we find some nice ones uh, soon. Um, so yeah, the hunt was, it was a fun hunt. Uh, slow on the finds, slow on the finds, but the finds we did hit were awesome. Amazing finds. Um... Two Buffaloes, both from the 20s, and one with a mint mark, the 27 Denver being a lower mintage. Very cool to find those. You don't find those with readable date and mint mark in circulation very often, so that was pretty cool to find. Did hit that 38D Jefferson key date as well, so pretty cool finds all around. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, help me out, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.